I've been having a think as of late about the message I want to put across to people and how I want to help people with these videos. And I'm just going to explain this in one take, but it's extremely difficult to do this in one take. If you stutter, you're always wanting to achieve a certain flow. And if you stutter, or if you forget the things that you want to say, and it interrupts that flow, then we beat ourselves up about it. And it sucks that we have to beat ourselves up about it. To be clear, the first thing that we have to do is be completely honest with ourselves about our stutter and about our speech in general. You have to analyze yourself and assess your, the problems that you have with your speech. I mean, let's be real here. Stuttering is a problem. It really is. If your stutter is stopping you from socializing and going on dates and forming relationships, it's a problem. If your stutter is stopping you from achieving your dream job or doing the things that you've always wanted to do, it's a problem. And if your stutter gets you detained at airports, which I'm sorry to say that's happened, I'm sorry to hear that's happened, then it's a problem. You know, people like to dress it up and say, it's an obstacle I have to overcome, or it's just a challenge for me. I mean, of course it is these things, but it causes these problems, it's an issue. And so we have to first see it as that. Another thing as well, we need a burning desire to become better speakers. Like it should occupy your mind. This burning desire should occupy your mind. So whenever you're looking for solutions, you should be looking nonstop. If you're in this place where your stutter is severe or you want to improve your speech, you have to be relentless in that quest to become a better speaker. But this brings us to this question, of course, how do you improve your stutter? The reason why I started to create these videos in 2012 was because I saw no credible resources online that could help me overcome my stutter at that time. So, this is my opportunity to tell you guys how I came to this point right now, how I helped myself to become fluent. But this is the biggest thing that I've discovered. The biggest thing that I've discovered is the advice that I got to help me with my stutter is addressed differently than overcoming your stutter how to talk better. It's dressed up differently than that. You see, for a while now, I've had the belief that if you improve yourself as a person, your speech will improve as an indirect result. I still stand by that. So what does this mean when it comes to certain practices or even just being on this quest to improve your speech? That means you have to be researching different things that help improve your quality of life. Just to throw out a few examples, you have to look for the law of attraction, the power of your subconscious mind, meditation. You have to be looking at yoga, different breathing exercises, finding different ways to stay relaxed, to stay calm, making sure that you're physically fit and healthy and making sure that you get enough sleep. These are all the things that I have done to get to this point right now. The more that I have focused on positive thinking, the more that I focused on my breathing, the more success that I saw in my speaking. And I am unsure where else you're going to find this information. Because as I said, if you type into Google overcoming stuttering, 
you're just going to find very little information. But everything that I've presented to you have helped me get to this point right now. Nothing when I typed in overcome stuttering actually helped me has been all of this stuff. You know, taking care of myself as a person first. But to put it out there, a lot of people are going to disagree with me. A lot of people are going to tell me and have already told me these things don't help with your stutter. And the only thing I have to ask is, have you tried it? Because if you've tried all these things for a month and it doesn't help with your stutter, then you just have to go for longer. You may feel better as a person, which is what you want, but if you don't have your desired results after a short while, you have to carry on. And this is the truth here. This is a lifelong process. The journey to overcoming your stutter is a lifelong process. If you're looking for a quick fix, it's extremely difficult to find because like many articles I see online, there's no magic pill. There's nothing that you can take that is going to cure you of your stutter. But I have this belief that your stutter can be cured. You can cure your stutter. And a lot of people are going to disagree with me on that. So let me tell you why. If you have this burning desire inside of you to become a fluent speaker, to overcome your stutter, if you adopt this new mindset of positive growth, of being a better person than you are right now, and going through all the things that I've been talking about and doing them on a regular basis, you're hardly going to stutter at all, if at all. You see, you have to embody this new way of talking, this new way of living, this new way of approaching life. And that's not explained to people because guess what? When you look online, a lot of the things that you see is how to accept your stutter, how to have a high quality life with a stutter. So this is the honest truth about your stutter. A lot of the things that can help you overcome your stutter is dressed up differently than overcoming stuttering. And I wish more people would know about this because I have felt a big transformation since doing all of this. But why am, I, why am I saying this? Why couldn't I have made a full business out of this and said, if you pay 30 pounds a month, I can tell you all these eight things or nine things. I mean, the truth is this may be the only video that gives so much depth to how you can overcome your stutter. And I think that's too valuable an opportunity to pass up. If this video can change people's lives, why would I charge people for it? I feel like I've come back full circle. This is the thing that's going to help you overcome your stutter. You have to be honest with yourself. You do have to see your stutter is causing you problems. You need to have this burning desire inside of you. You have to be relentless. You have to go all out in your quest to become better at speaking, at becoming more fluent. And then you can cure your stutter. Whenever you hear somebody says your stutter can't be cured, that's just because they're yet to find a way. Or they're yet to have any concrete evidence that says this is the way that you cure your stutter. So, having said all that, I want to hear your thoughts in the comments. Whether you agree with me, whether you disagree with me, whether you think that my thoughts and talks are based off nothing. But let's be real here, if I'm fluent with you right now and saying all these things to you and saying that all these little things have helped me get to this point, it's difficult to say that I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm always happy to hear other people's thoughts. So let me know. Peace.